you might think, why do we need to worry about displays? Well, the answer, of course, has been the demise of the cathode ray tube, the CRT display, which has been used for the monitoring device for television production ever since television really started. It's very difficult to replace a CRT with a flat panel display because you have to keep the colours the same, but it's not just that. We found in the BBC, for example, we put um, some LCD panels in a production environment and the guys controlling the lighting found that the two of them looking at the displays couldn't agree what the colours were. As you moved around, the colours changed. So they took out the LCDs and replaced them immediately again with the old CRT displays because that is a stable reference. Because the production monitor is effectively a measurement tool. It's not something for showing a nice picture. It's a tool for showing the television picture as it is, warts and all, so that we can see what's wrong with it, what's right with it, but really what's wrong with it so that we can correct that in the studio. The IRT did measurement to evaluate uh, which of the uh, displays with new technique behind uh, can, uh, evaluate, uh, can replace the uh, CRT monitor as a reference or a grade one monitor. At the moment are two displays uh, nearly at uh, the uh, requirements for grade one displays. This is uh, at first with the closest one is a uh, Sony uh, OLED display and uh, the uh, Dolby LCD display. Uh, the Dolby LCD displays nearly fulfill all the parameters but the, this display has problems with the viewing angle. The, uh, the OLED is much more better in uh, relation to the uh, black level and also with the viewing angle, uh, but the uh, LCD display uh, has the advantage that the size is what we want uh, in the future for uh, checking the uh, HDTV signals because we need uh, this bigger size to uh, see the artifacts better, uh, better because the end user at home also have uh, in the future bigger size of displays and will see the artifacts uh, which we don't see on small uh, displays like uh, the OLED, OLED here. It's taken us five years to produce the final documentation. It's taken the manufacturers that time as well to come up with displays that actually start to really meet the core requirements. And over those five years we've produced a specification for a grade one monitor and a document for how to measure that. And then we produced a document as guidance to the domestic television manufacturers to help them produce a TV set that met what the broadcasters were expecting. So that when a, a television producer, director makes a program with a certain look, it should look like that in the home as well.